Hey guys, um, today I'm going to make a little how-to video on uh, making a terminal block for your computer to run your fans and what other accessories you have to to eliminate some of the Molex connectors. Um, this is kind of a how-to that I'm doing uh, for my friend Paul Bunyan who is having uh, trouble in his area trying to find a terminal block for uh, his computer to reroute some wires. So I just went to the hardware store, picked up some uh, nuts. These are 8 by 32 nuts, and I picked up 8 uh, eight by 32 3 quarter inch uh, bolts that we're going to use. And then these two pieces of plexiglass was just scrap they had in the garbage. I had them dig through their uh, scrap pieces and just found something that was big enough for what we needed. So that didn't cost anything, and uh, so far we got a dollar eighty-eight into the nuts and bolts. But we're going to start marking this to uh, drill it for the bolts and start prepping it here. And I'll take a few shots along the way to kind of show you the progress. Okay, if you guys recall uh, last summer when I did the uh, hood scoop project on the Rosewell, we had cut up a uh, old side cover off of a case to use the metal for it. So I'm just going to use a scrap of this. I'm going to cut out a couple of strips that we're going to use as our metal conductors for the uh, between the terminals here on the block. So I'm going to mark these off where I'm going to drill my holes, and then we'll hit this on both sides with the uh, grinder or sandpaper if a person had it, um, just to take it down to the bare metal to make sure we make good contact onto the screws. So I just want to take a shot of this before I do the drilling, and then we'll cut out the pieces. Okay, we got our holes drilled, and I hit. Uh, both sides of this just a little bit with the hand grinder to take the paint and stuff off so we can get down to metal so we can make some good conduct. Um, now the best thing to do is to decide how you want to lay out your uh, block. This could be done either way. We could just cut two strips and then do uh, you know like one side all positive and one side all negative so you can just hook one input wire one ground wire and then run all your fans or accessories whatever on there or you could cut them into individual blocks and uh, have separate connectors if you're gonna say maybe run a fan through a fan controller and uh, you want to have individual connections to them fans so that you could take them out but now is a good time before you cut it to decide how you want to do it uh, what your major plan is here so we're gonna mark this off and get ready to cut Okay, just to illustrate uh, what I meant before cutting it there, um, how we could do it in two strips. Um, now if we just add a, like a 12 volt wire, 12 volt positive coming in here, and a negative here, this would turn this whole rail into 12 volt, this whole rail into negative, which would be good enough to just hook your fans to and stuff. Um, in our case, for more flexibility, I think what I'm going to do is cut these in half and then use four individual connectors so we would have a little bit more flexibility if we wanted to add uh, fan controller fans or whatever we're going to do so I'm going to cut them down but I just wanted to give you an idea of a simple way to do it if you simply just needed a 12 volt in the ground um, without having to do any additional cutting okay here's our basic layout of it uh, we got our holes drilled put our bolts through in the uh, conductive plates here that we're going to use. Uh, my holes didn't come out completely perfect, but I was, uh, wasn't was going to be too anal about it. I'm just kind of doing something quick. So uh, Basically, this is where a person could be creative. Um, I had a couple different ideas when I started doing this, like possibly putting some LEDs inside it and lighting it up. Um, maybe if I had used some better metal or something that looked a little nicer inside, I think I would have done that. Uh, in this case, I think what we're going to do is just use some uh, black plastic paint and uh, paint our uh, our plexiglass pieces here to kind of conceal the inside and to make it uh, blend a little better in with a black case. So I'm going to uh, take these bolts out and uh, get this plastic ready to put a little paint on. Well, this is what it looks like when it's assembled. We uh, Put our plates on the bottom here. Um, I just used a little electrical tape on the edges of all of them to make sure none of them would touch together or short out. Now we're just going to uh, mount the second piece that we had cut 
on the back as a backing plate. And to do that, I'm just going to use my hot glue gun and uh, put some dabs of hot glue on there and uh, basically press them together just to uh, seal it up on the back side. Okay, well here's a shot of it done. We had put uh, both pieces together. I just used some uh, hot glue and went around the edges here and uh, glued the two pieces together. And also I went ahead and uh, drilled a hole on the top and on the bottom for mounting, but uh, that's it. It's ready to use. Um, not perfect. I kind of rushed through this just to kind of give you an idea of how to make one. I uh, didn't worry too much about it being perfect, just more or less to give you the idea of how to do it. Uh, total time on this was probably about two hours to make it. Um, total cost, maybe two bucks for materials, mostly just for the bolts and stuff. Um, simple to do if a person needs one, can't come across one. Uh, I know most places sell them for five to ten dollars. If you have somewhere around that you can buy one cheap enough, why not? But if you're in a pinch and need one, or if you're just looking for an easy project to do on an afternoon, this is something that you could put together pretty easily and be useful for you. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching.